welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. How are you today? Please tell me how your day is going. I hope it's going well. Today we're here with another top 10 and nail polish video. And I know that I'm the worst at keeping up with any sort of series that I start on my channel. I know I have promised for months <laughs> to do more through the Helmers videos. I know. It's hopefully coming. I'm just the worst. It takes a long time to edit also and I'm lazy. But today we're doing a top 10 video and because it's April and April is my birth month and that was I feel like that was weird. Birthday month. Birth month. <laughs> Sounds weird. And it's almost springy. I thought it would be good to revisit some blues. So I wanted to do the top 10 like periwinkle-ish blues. Now, these are not all exact periwinkle colors, but they're just, you know, closely grouped together. I actually have a lip product on. It doesn't look like it though. It's the Fenty Beauty Luscious Lip Balm in Pinch Me. It's very comfortable and it feels very hydrating, but there's not a lot of color. However, I really love the packaging and could you hear that? It clicks shut. I love a click shut. Anyway, it kind of tastes like vanilla. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite periwinkle blues for well, really any time, but I especially like this color at this time of the year. I don't know how many I grabbed. Two, four, six, eight. I grabbed eight. I didn't even grab ten. Plot twist. There are two buckets of blue polishes behind me in different color categories that I'll be talking about at some point. There will be plenty of blues coming. Hopefully I can get them all up in April because I feel like May is not a blue month. Let's get to the polishes. The first polish is a new polish, so I know it is still available, and this is from the China Glaze Spring Collection, and it's called Surfside Skies. It's a really... Okay, I'm going to repeat myself a thousand times. I think that these are all really beautiful and really pretty. I need to like, come up with different adjectives, but those are the easy ones. It's a very pretty... It's more blue than periwinkle. I think periwinkle has more purple in it. But it's, a, it's like on the cusp. It's like on the cusp. It's a very simple polish. There's not a shimmer, a glitter, a flaky. It's just a cream polish. But it's a beautiful, fresh looking color. I think that's why I like this color. It looks really fresh for this type of, this time of year. And I, I'm just ready for fresh, you know? <laughs> I want the sun, even though it's very gray today. And like cold. It's spring um, and it's raining. I just think this color is beautiful any time of year. It's like a fresh hope color. <laughs> just so dramatic, but that's what it reminds me of. So that is China Glaze Surfside Skies. The next color is also fairly new, and this is from the Color Club Parisian Garden Collection, and it's called Lily in Paris. This is definitely more purpley periwinkle, but oh my goodness, this color is stunning. I mentioned in the review video that I did for this, I will link up here, that when I was wearing this color, I had multiple people who don't know that I do nail polish things uh, comment how pretty this color was, and they were like, what is that color? That's really beautiful. And I feel like that's an ultimate compliment to a color because I don't know. They don't know the amount of polish I have in my house. <laughs> they just think that this, you know, and I wear nail polish all the time, so anyway. It's a beautiful color. It has a fantastic formula, and it, it is one of the prettiest colors that I can think of off the top of my head recently. It's a nice color club, Lily in Paris. The next palette is also newer, and I know it's still available, which is exciting, and that is Moonshine Manny Breath of Fresh Air. This was from a Swatch Fest mix-along. She does these, I said in, I said in the video, because I'm the worst person ever, that she did them every week. She does them once a month. 
I'm sorry. This is called Breath of Fresh Air. It's a periwinkle kind of crelly with a ton of iridescent flakies in it. It is such a it is a breath of fresh air. This is the most perfectly named polish. It just looks fresh and crisp and hopeful and new and airy. It's so beautiful, of course, because it's Moonshine Manny. It has a great formula because her formula is so lovely. Phoebe did send Breath of Fresh Air as PR, so I'll link her website down below and you know, it'll all be linked. It'll all be linked, okay? So that is Moonshine Manny Breath of Fresh Air. The next polish is from Orly, and this is from, uh, I can't remember what collection this was from, but it's called Spirit Junkie, and it is a light purple with a subtle but noticeable <laughs> pinky purpley shimmer in it. It's a very sort of ethereal color, and uh, the formula is lovely. It's, if you don't want a plain cream polish but you don't want a glitter, I think this is a nice alternative. It's it has the shimmer adds something extra without being over the top and that is Spirit Junkie by Orly. The next polish is from a brand that I used to be able to find at Walmart and I haven't seen in a while but it's the P2 brand. I will have to research where I can purchase these because I have several of their polishes and they're very nice. Let me, is it still around? I don't know. Let me look. Hold on. Yeah, apparently it's just sold on the Walmart website. So it ranges from $2.94 to, it looks like somewhere $5. I have about six of the polishes. They all have really great formulas. And it's called Breezy Blue. And it's sort of, it's maybe a little more sky blue than Periwinkle. But there's some, it's not straight up sky blue. You know, it, there's a little bit of like purple in it. And it's a really beautiful color. And it's made it through several declutters. Such times. That is a P2 Polish Breezy Blue. The next polish is definitely the darkest of the Periwinkle bunch. It's not even really Periwinkle at all. It's more grayish. But it didn't really fit into the other blue categories either. So I thought I would put it in this one. <laughs> but it's actually from Persona Cosmetics. They released a few nail polish shades. And this one is called Cement and it's really great. This is the darkest of the colors that they've released. Of course, that would be my favorite. As a silver shimmer throughout the polish, I, I wouldn't place an order specifically for this polish, but I was, I happened to be ordering something at the time, and I thought, oh, I'll just add that to my cart while I'm ordering, because so far these are not available at Ulta. But I really liked the, the color and the shimmer and the formula, and I was impressed with that. So that is Persona Cosmetics Cement. And I like that the name is on the front of the bottle. That's So we have two more and they're both from Zoya. First is Kristen and this is described by Zoya as a gull gray nail polish with a mild bluish hue. I definitely feel like it pulls more blue than gray. Definitely. I mean it's it's a it's a mild blue. But it's very cool tone, cream polish, again, no shimmer, glitter, no extra components in it. It's a cream, I don't want to say just a cream, but it's a cream polish. And, you know, this is sort of a classic Zoya color, I think. It's, um, it's a, I think it's a favorite among a lot of people who like both blues and creams. And then the last polish is also from Zoya, and this is Val. And Val is described as a mid-tone sky blue. Val is a beautiful sky blue cream. But I still think this counts in this color category. And that's the thing about this, the, any of these categories. It's not necessarily an exact match. It's something that's close. And of course, this is going to look different on different skin tones. So it might look more blue on some. It might look more purple on others. Depends on your skin tone. I don't know what your skin tone is. So I can't tell you how it's going to look on you. But it will be beautiful. That is for sure. So that is what Zoya's Val. I would love to know your favorites from this sort of color category, this sort of light blue periwinkle sort of color situation. So let me know your favorites. I'll, I'll have the names and links to anyone listed in the any websites listed in the description box. And please let me know your favorites because I, I love, love hearing about it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.